Following the deadly school shooting in Texas, Governor Glenn Youngkin's administration is getting some feedback on school security here in Virginia. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco found out what the state is already doing and what extra measures could be coming. She's live in the Digital Center for us tonight. Jackie. Hey guys, well, following that 2012 shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary in Connecticut, Virginia increased resources and requirements for school security. Governor Youngkin, state superintendent, says a similar reckoning will follow this tragedy in Texas. After the second deadliest school shooting on record, a second look at school security in Virginia. State Superintendent of Public Instruction Jillian Balow starting the conversation. Immediately, it is a time to just level set and take a look at the work that's been done, the work that's being done now, and the work that needs to continue. Lawmakers say 705 K-12 schools in Virginia do not have a school resource officer, and more than 80% are elementary schools. There are some places where we need to do better as a commonwealth. A push to require a resource officer and every school shot down in the General Assembly. But under a new law, schools without an officer on site will have to designate one in the community to get special training and serve as their point of contact. Governor Yunkin proposing an additional $50 million to help pay for those resource officers, but still unclear if it'll make the cut. Meantime, Bela was asking divisions what more can be done to help students' mental health needs. We should never be weighing law enforcement against mental health services. This is a yes and moment. Both are extremely important. After Sandy Hook, Balo says the state created a program to fund security equipment upgrades, which was later expanded. She says Virginia was also the first state in the nation to require schools to create threat assessment teams. On top of that, schools must have a crisis management plan and conduct annual school security audits. Because of bills passed earlier this year, law enforcement will be more involved in that process and each school will be required to create a detailed floor plan of each campus to use during emergencies. So the best thing that we can do at the state level is to listen and set forth a statewide framework with resources and ideas. And Superintendent Balow says she'll present findings from that statewide listening session with Governor Glenn Youngkin later this summer. Live in the Digital Center, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.